Let's talk about nuts and nut materials. Everyone has a different opinion on how a nut will affect the tone of your instrument and uh, a lot of it is valid. The, uh, the first rule to, to know is that the nut is a relatively small part of the tone of your instrument. It only affects the sound obviously when you've got open, open strings being sounded and in my book it's good to have something that sounds relatively similar to the fretted note and uh, you, you can't blame your nut on the basic tone of the guitar it's it's a recipe it's a, a combination of different effects however there are two rules that are hard and fast no matter what part of the guitar you're talking about no matter what material you're using if you've got a soft material it will be warm and not particularly bright or brilliant and it won't have very much sustain. Whatever the point is, if, it, if it's the nut or your frets or the saddle, if it's, if it's soft it will suck a certain amount of the sustain and brilliance out of your tone, effectively. Conversely, a very hard material is very bright and will sustain and ring and play forever. So, you know, if you've got a steel saddle as opposed to a bone saddle, etc., you will have a vast difference between the two. Now, with nuts, everybody is uh, adding complications to the to the subject by creating things like corian and tusk and graphite, uh, well, graphite composites, etc. There are very, very many things coming up on market that everybody swears, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread. And uh, a lot of it is, well, a lot of it is bullshit. I mean, what can you do? This is, this is humans. This is what we're about. Now, graphite, Korean, all of these things, they've got self-lubricating properties and if your tuning stability is of prime importance then go for that. It's Forget about the tone that you're going to get. Uh, if that's what you need, that's what you need. Although there are things like graphite Teflon lubes, stuff that you buy for uh, lubricating the, your brake calipers for example. and nut sauce, etc. It's it's all out there and relatively easy to get a hold of. Or just use a pencil in the slot. Now, Corian is a very bright material, as is tusk, etc. The reason to go for a material like that is that because it is not natural, they tend to be very consistent and there's no soft spots. A bone nut, you can, unless it's a very good bone nut, you can have soft spots in it and that will A, make life for the luthier a little bit more difficult, but B, that way it affects the tone. If you've got a soft and a hard nut, it might be the perfect nut. It might have the, the exact combination of hard and soft bits that you need. It also might have a soft bit right at the front of the nut where the string leaves it and that will wear away quicker and screw up your intonation. However, most luthiers will say bone is best uh, or mammoth ivory, something like that. It looks good and it does have this tone that you, you expect and for that point of view, from yeah, my point of view is that bone is best. I'll use graphite nuts very, fairly regularly, but they are, it's pretty much the softest material you can get. It's amazing uh, that you've got something that can self-lubricate and keep your tuning nice and stable, but then again, my headstocks have straight string pull, and that keeps my tuning stable as well. So uh, yes, you've got to bear in mind that graphite is very soft and you will not have a brilliant sound. You will not have 
masses of sustain and if that's what you need then that material is out. In the past I've also used various woods, I've used ebony before etc and again that sounds very different to the frets and uh, it's a more warm thuddy sort of sound and uh, no, it's not necessarily what everybody would want, but usable in its way. The other option is a metal nut. You've got your standard Floyd Rose locking nuts, etc. They are made out of steel, chrome steel, aluminium, etc. And brass nuts. Now, the reason for them, it's effectively the same reason that you would have a zero fret. A bit of a dated look, but the theory is sound. The theory is sound, and it means that all of your notes, your open and your fretted notes, will sound the same, and uh, you'll get a more even tone. And as well as that, you'll have a bright, sustainy tone, because obviously frets are made. Good frets are made out of a, a hard material. I don't think that there is a vast difference between a brass nut and a steel nut. For example, it's hard, it's hard. You're not going to be able to hear that you know, with your, without a you know, laboratory full of equipment. So uh, I wouldn't bother. Uh, brass is nice and easy to work. Also, frets, good quality frets. You've either got stainless steel frets or nickel silver frets. Nickel silver doesn't have any silver in it, it's actually nickel and brass, and therefore a brass nut is pretty much the same material. So you'll get your evenness of tone and your sustain and warmth. And effectively, I can't really say very much more on it. It depends on the sound you want, and it depends on whether you've got a fixed bridge and a trim, or even a Floyd Rose or something like that, and you really want to go mental with the dive bombing. Uh, but the main rule, a soft material, does not sustain very well and is, uh, gives a warmer tone and a hard material gives a much brighter, more sustainy tone. And that's pretty much that. The of more importance than the material, once you've got your basic tone, is the quality of the fitting, how it's set up, how it's cut. If you've got a flappy hole that your string is just sitting in, your sound will never sound particularly good. And uh, well, that's the next video. Thank you very much.